Hello Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. This is Skeleton Key Tarot and this is a tarot card reading for Aquarius. All Aquarius placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Wherever you've got Aquarius in your chart or in your life, there's something in this message for you. And as always, cross watchers are welcome here too. So let's begin. We're going to put out a few cards. We're going to tell a story. If this is your story, then this is your message, okay? Let's do it. We've got, now, what is this? We have you being closed off, resistant, having to go it alone. You feel like you have to hold down the fort alone. Maybe single parent, maybe been alone for a while. You live alone, you pay all the bills, and you're kind of closed off to love. You're keeping your feelings to yourself. You're, you're not looking for love right now. You're focused on your money. I just heard Aquarius. This is Sagittarius energy. This is the moon in Sagittarius. Do you have moon sign in Sagittarius? Do you have Sagittarius placements? I just almost called you Sagittarius again. I just heard Sagittarius in my head. What is this magician? Okay, I want to move on from the Sagittarius thing. But I swear, isn't that like the fourth time this has happened? Anyway, I'm constantly calling you a Sagittarius and I don't know why. It's the weirdest thing, but I got to stop doing it. <laughs> I get, I've get, i got to stop doing it. So here we go. So it's like you're closed off, and yet there is somebody who... Do you have feelings for them, or they have feelings for you? Because it looks like you're manifesting this, like, emotionally satisfying, very happy wish fulfillment when it comes to somebody wants to flirt with you. Somebody wants to take you out. They're a little bit nervous. They're a little bit shy or inexperienced. They're very sensitive, kind of psychic, like very like sympathetic or they're cute or they're like younger. Um, this is a very feminine energy. I get like a younger female or like, this is unusual for me, but I feel like yeah, because this is not going to resonate for everybody, so take it as it resonates. doesn't mean it's not your reading. It's just there's this one detail that's, um, it's like, there is a younger feminine energy here, okay? And I get the sense that you are not usually attracted to this type of person. This is unusual for you. This is new for you. You've not gone out on a date like this before. You are not used to this type of person for some reason. I get the sense that you've not you've never gone out with a girl before. Maybe you are a female. You you're a woman or a female or a girl or whatever you are. I, and you're going out with another girl. Okay. That happens all the time. But like why? So what is different about this for you? Is this the first time you've ever gone out with a girl and you are exploring your bisexuality or something? It seems like you've been keeping this to yourself and you're finally, uh, all right, all right. You're finally coming out. You're coming out. The rainbow here and everything. This is not my usual Sagittarius reading. This is not a Sagittarius reading. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I keep thinking you are Sagittarius. Not kidding. I just did it again. I just lapsed into thinking, well, this is not a huge, this is not my usual Sagittarius energy. This is very different. I must be picking up on a different Sagittarius than usual. This is not, <laughs> yes, this is very different from Sagittarius because it's Aquarius. Oh my goodness. There's Taurus here as well. So there's something that you've been holding. Okay. There's a reason why I think it's like cultural, religious, background, um, traditions, where you come from. And so you've been soul searching or you've been referring to scripture or there's been like a institution or conventional thing. This is unconventional where you are from. I guess, um, this is not, this is unconventional. So you might be from a different country or a different state where this is not normal for them. This is what's quote unquote people would call normal or conventional. This is unconventional and you've kind of been waiting for the right time or the right opportunity or you've been keeping this to yourself and just kind of watching and assessing the situation or like 
So you're keeping it to yourself and you're just like minding your own business, keeping your own business to yourself and like waiting, not doing anything, not, not making a move. Maybe you never even met a girl that you felt this way about. And you didn't know you felt this way. You always thought that you were straight. And maybe you really are in many ways. But like maybe you're really not. Like maybe not 100%. So you're thinking about it. You're like analyzing this. Like am I straight or am I like gay? Or because this is a feminine type. It could be a feminine boy or a man, young man, who is a like traditional like thought of as a feminine but like it's starting to get into uh, jargon and um language and gender stuff that honestly I need you to forgive me right now but I'm not like 100% educated on this stuff like I don't really know 100 like I don't know okay so I'm just gonna ex explain the energy as I see it forgive me um but if this story is for you, then this is your message. It just looks like you are coming out and you are making yourself happy. You're finally going to get what you want and be happy. There's that rainbow. Okay. And yeah, there's the, the t Sagittarius with the temperance and the sun and then the wheel of fortune and the two of swords. And there's a message incoming. Okay. So I'm going to get a different spread for you, Aquarius, or should I say Sagittarius, Moon in Sagittarius, anybody? So it looks like you're reaching a new milestone in your life, and this is a cause for celebration. This is something you've maybe been waiting for, working on, and this is a turning point in your life. This is this is an inflection point, a catalyst for change. This is a turning point in your life, like you're graduating school, or you're reaching a certain age in your life where you just don't care anymore, or you're not held back anymore. Okay, we've got 7744. 10. Um, it could have been 10 years, four years, four weeks, four days, four months, seven months, seven years. Um, okay. There's still a lot of confusion in this reading right now. There is some emotional upset that's got you feeling distant, distracted, aloof, Somebody's being very quiet, very aloof right now. There's a new opportunity to have this romantic encounter. And it's like somebody is very conflicted and very confused within themselves if this is what they want to do. They've got options and they're not sure what they want. There's too many options. There's too many choices. They feel very uncertain about themselves at this time. Even though they feel like they have to make a choice, they feel very strongly that they should make a choice, that they need to go in some kind of direction. And they're moving. They're moving forward. Time does not stop for anybody, right? And it just looks like there's this new opportunity to have this. There's this older person involved here, maybe, to have this emotionally mature or, yeah, like there's this connection here. There's this like... Feels almost like soulmate connection. There's that Taurus again. But it's like, um, it's romantic. Okay, there may be a love affair. You may be having some kind of an extramarital experience. Or the Three of Swords being here is a third party. And it's coming out under the Seven of Cups, Four of Cups. It's like, there's something that you're not interested in that you don't want. But you also feel very confused because there's this other opportunity coming in for you. And... You do want it. You do feel romantically inclined towards this King of Cups. There's this chariot. It's Cancer energy. We got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, especially Cancer and Scorpio. Aries and Taurus are here as well. <clears throat> Wheel of Fortune is Jupiter, which is more Sagittarius and Pisces energy. You could have this in your chart or in your life. Check those readings. Maybe there's something in those messages for you. Ace of Pentacles something new, new job, new money, but I'm feeling like it's a new opportunity to have this romantic connection, this romantic experience, this love affair, very mature, very balanced, 
very like emotionally secure, emotionally intelligent person who understands human nature, makes a really good confidant. They're really good at keeping secrets. They're really good at um, giving good advice. They're a good counselor. I see you getting guidance here, Hierophant, the King of Cups. Yeah, because you're not sure what to do. You're hung up on this. You feel stuck. There's this feeling of like you can't move and there's the King of Pentacles more Taurus and it's like but then you want to move it's like you feel simultaneously stuck and non-committal all right somebody's like non-committal and they feel trapped but at the same time they want to move they want to leave they want to go they want to get to a better place they're on their way they're on the right path towards success wheel of fortune is here I mean chariot is here four of wands ace of pentacles Six of Swords, you're going in a really good direction. You're you're getting some distance and clarity that you need. But I think you need to take a step back and see things. Like, maybe you already know this. You need to uh, withdraw from the situation, take a step back, get some more clarity, some more information. There's a brokenheartedness here. Somebody is suffering. They're in sorrow. They're very unhappy. They're depressed. And they're confused. And it's time to do a little bit of shadow work. Okay, you need to rob that shadow of its power to control you. You need to take your power back. And you do need to get some clarity because it looks like there's some decisions you need to make, but you can't make the decisions right now because you don't have all the information and you're kind of confused and you don't know what you want. And it's a little crazy, but it's like time doesn't stop for anybody and it's not stopping for you either. It's just going to keep going. But it's like you feel stuck and hampered in by maybe your job or your lifestyle or there's Capricorn this Leo, but it's like, you're very successful. There's this King of Pentacles represents somebody who's very successful, very creative, very practical, grounded down to earth and predictable. So it's like, this could be kind of boring for you. I'm getting the sense that you feel stuck in your routine. You want to like get out of it or you want to do something new, but it's like, you're still attached. You're still attached to something. You're in a relationship and you're interested in somebody else. And that can be confusing because in your mind, you know, you have stability, you've got a relationship, you know, you've got a marriage or whatever you're in, but in your heart, your heart is somewhere else. Your heart is with this other person. Your heart wants to have this romantic encounter or whatever, to have this experience. And you might need to make a choice here. And it looks like you're at a crossroads. You're looking forward to the future. You're trying to imagine what it would be like. I think you need to take a step back and let things play out for a minute. Let things unfold for like a week to two months, eight weeks, one, eight days to eight, two, you know, ooh, three days. This week is going to be interesting. You get an opportunity this week. Anybody looking for an opportunity this week, it looks like you're going to get it and you're going to pull it off. Just keep things in balance. You need to keep your practical side in balance with your passionate side and stay focused on, on your work. Make sure you're staying focused on your work and you're keeping your life in balance. You don't want to be sacrificing your career, your lifestyle, your whole life for one romantic encounter, even if it is really good and passionate and worth it. <clears throat> it's like, you know, what about the morning after? I don't know. That's the message. I do see you getting really happy that like you're getting a message here that's going to make you feel really happy from the Sagittarius. But you have a decision to make, and I think this is going to help you make a decision. And I think you're going to do what you want to do. You're getting some communication incoming. It's going to make you really happy. It's going to make you feel good. So just wait. Just wait. I'm going to put the sun on top. I like to see the sun. We like to see the sun. Very fulfilling. I don't know what this means for you. It looks like you're being pulled in two different directions here. And it's, it's like splitting you in half, and it's causing you a schism in your mind and heart. And I, I just, we could find out more in a personal reading. This is a general reading for Aquarius. So if you wanted more personal details, you can email me for a personal reading. We can get into it, you know, get some real details for you. But this is what I've got for you today, Aquarius. Let's get a couple of tea leaf cards before we close it out. Yeah, it looks like you have this new opportunity to have this romantic encounter or this romantic relationship situation, but you're married or you're already married or you're already involved or committed to something else. And so this is this is bringing up a lot of feelings for you, confusion, dis disillusionment, dis um dissatisfaction, you know, and like 
you feel stuck where you're at. You feel trapped. You feel like you can't move. You can't do what you want. You want to do this. You're like, should I move on this? Should I stay? Should I go? Should I take action? Should I, should I message him? I would just say, wait a minute, give it like two months before you start doing anything crazy. Like give it some time. Like don't. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Do you see that? You're climbing the ladder to success. You want to keep your life in order here. I don't, I don't know. I, I feel like this could be a really interesting experience for you. But at the same time, it's like, don't be tempted to lower your standards because you are climbing the ladder right now to some, su some success. All right. Let's see. What else? We got grapes. Time to go out and have some fun. Yeah, you, you feel like you've been, you need to go out and have fun. You do. You feel like you've been stuck in the house or like under this tree with the four of cups, seven of cups. And it's like, you need to go out and have fun and do something good. I do see you having fun. I get you. You're getting a message like from, it could just be from a friend. You know, I think it's a little more than that, but it's like, you could, I think this is going to make you happy, whatever it is. So I guess like it makes you happy. It, it does. So I'm just... I think you need to, there's a broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about that. But okay, did something not work out? Something did not work out. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. I love that. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. That's beautiful. That's given like the eight of swords. It's like, listen, just trust life for a minute. Relax. Let the universe respond to your prayers. Let the universe respond to your manifestations. Let the guy respond to your text or whatever. And if he does you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Just relax for a minute. Things are changing. Someone is leaving your life. Yeah. Okay. Things are changing. Something happened. Younger woman. What were we saying? Weren't we saying that in the beginning? There's this younger woman involved. Okay. Like you, it doesn't have to be a lesbian thing or a bisexual thing. You could be a guy and there's this younger woman. You, but it, I, I got that feeling at first, but it doesn't mean it's not your reading if that's not you. It could be anybody. It's like I said, it's a general reading. So take it as it resonates. Email me for more personal detail. But there's this younger woman. We were feeling her in this before. Okay, let's get like one more. One more tea leaf card. Thank you. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Bottom of the deck, beware of great pride and the rainbow. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Anybody else see the word pride and rainbow? Okay, let's see. Let's get you an oracle of the radiant sun. Oh, right away. Enthusiasm. And look at what it is. You can't make this up. Tarot is real. I'm not making it up. Do you see that? The sun in Sagittarius. Enthusiasm. This is a, this is a Sagittarius reading. <laughs> it's Aquarius and Sagittarius. Okay, fine. So let's see. Let me get my book. The sun in Sagittarius. Enthusiasm. It says, when this card is chosen, it indicates an attraction to foreign places and people. Unconventional. Okay, the, to the extent that the person concerned could live for some time in another country. It also reveals a strong intuitive ability that gives sudden flashes of inspiration or visions of future events. The enthusiasm card in a reading predicts a drive to continue education and to keep up a renewed interest in philosophical, religious, or ethical concepts. The downside of this card is the chance that one is about to let out a home truth that might hurt somebody's feelings. Yeah, you're going to let out the truth. You're coming out. You're telling the truth. And this might hurt somebody's feelings. Somebody it maybe is very conventional and they're not going to understand. And maybe it's in your family or your background where you come from. Maybe you end up moving to a different country. The events include, the events include splendid opportunities, a contact from abroad, prospect of long distance travel, a new philosophy or optimism about a new project. Yes. Very optimistic with the sun here and the ace of pentacles about something new that's going to change your life. You could be traveling for sure. Moving to a different country. Somebody is contacting you from abroad or from a distance. 
Okay, that's what I've got for you today, Aquarius or Sagittarius, whoever's watching this. <laughs> I hope this was helpful. I hope it was of service to you. If you enjoyed this and need like a personal reading, my email's in the description box below. You can email me. I'll let you know how it works. You let me know what you need. But in any case, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me today. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye.